Hi guys, so for this video we'll need yarn in three different colors. We'll need yellow, black and green. So the yarn that I'm using is bought in Germany but it's made in Turkey as you can see. And it's 70% uh, acrylic and 30% wool. So this yarn that I'm using is in size 5 bulky. And the recommended knitting needles or crochet hook are in size 7 to 8 millimeters. But for this particular video, I'll be using crochet hook in size 6.5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain four. Now on the fourth chain from a hook, I'll make 11 double crochets. We'll technically need 12 double crochets, but this 3 chain already counts as 1 double crochet. So now that I have 12 double crochets, right here on this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1. Now for row 2, I'll chain 3. Then right there through that same chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make 2 double crochet. Through the next chain I'll make two double crochet. So I'll continue making two double crochet in each chain throughout row two. And by the end of this row we should have 24 double crochets. So to finish off row 2, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 2. Now for row 3, I'll chain 3. Then right here through that same chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. So right here through this next chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. And through the second chain, I'll make 2 double crochet. So as you can see for row 3 we are increasing in every second chain. In the next chain I'll make 1 double crochet and in this second chain right here I'll make 2 double crochet. In the next chain I'll make 1 double crochet and through the next chain I'll make 2 double crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 3. As you can see here, we are increasing in every second chain. So now to finish off this third row, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So now for row 4, I'll chain 3. Then right there through that same chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And right here through this next chain, I'll make two double crochet. 
So as you can see here for row 4 we are increasing in every third chain. So in the next two chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And right here through this third chain we'll increase so we'll make two double crochets in that same chain. So we'll repeat this throughout row 4. So we repeat this throughout row 4. We'll increase in every third chain. So now to finish off row 4, right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 4. Now for row 5 I'll chain 3. Then right there through that same chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next three chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. So one, two and three. Now right here through this fourth chain I'll make two double crochet. In the next three chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. and I will increase in this fourth chain. So we repeat this throughout row 5. We will increase in every fourth chain. To finish off row 5, right here through this third chain I will make a slip stitch. And now for row 6 I will chain 3. Then through that same chain I'll make one double crochet. Now in the next four chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, and four. Through this fifth chain I'll make two double crochet. So that will be the first increase for this row. And now again in the next four chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And we'll increase on row five. So we repeat this throughout row six. We'll increase in every fifth chain. So now to finish off row six, I'll leave a medium sized tail just like this. We are still going to continue working on this green yarn. I just want to use a different stitch and I don't want the beginning row to be too visible. Now I'll use a yarn needle and I'll join these two ends together. So now only for this row, behind this chain there is a loop right there. And as I said before in my previous videos, I have no idea what this stitch is called. But I'll just call it back loop double crochet, even though it's not. And now I'll chain three. And now through the next chain, working only in this back loop, the loop is right behind the chain right here, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, working only in this back loop, 
I'll make one double crochet again in the next chain I'll make one back loop double crochet in the next chain working only in this back loop this loop behind the chain I'll make one double crochet so I'll continue making one back loop double crochet in each chain throughout row 7 so yeah we repeat this throughout row 7 And now for row 8, I'll chain 3, then through this next double crochet chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make 1 double crochet. So I'll continue making 1 double crochet in each chain throughout row 8. So we repeat row 7 until we have 14 rows in total. Now I'll chain 1 and I'll cut this yarn. Now for row 15, right here through this chain, I'll use yarn in black color. Then I'll chain 3. Then right there through the next chain I'll make 1 double crochet. In the next chain I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain one double crochet. So now that I have four double crochets, I'll decrease on chains five and six. Again now, in the next four chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And I'll decrease in chains five and six. Again now, in the next four chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Now decrease in chains five and six. So we repeat this throughout row fifteen. We'll decrease on chains five and six. So to finish off row fifteen, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row sixteen, I'll chain three. Then through the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And I'll decrease on chains four and five. In the next three chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And I'll decrease in chains four and five. In the next three chains I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And I'll decrease on chains four and five. So we repeat this throughout row sixteen will decrease on chains 4 and 5 and now for row 17 will not be decreasing anymore 
we'll only be working in our existing chains. So I'll chain three. Then through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. So we'll continue making one double crochet in each chain throughout row 17. And now for row 18, I'll switch to crochet hook in size 5.5 millimeters. So I'll chain three. Then through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And now in the next two chains, I'll decrease. In the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And in the next two chains, I'll decrease. In the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And in the next two chains, I will decrease. So I'll repeat this throughout row 18. I will decrease on chains 2 and 3. So now to finish off row 18, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So now for row 19, I'll insert my hook right here through this chain. Then uh, I'll chain three. Then right there through that same chain, I will increase. So I'll make one double crochet through that same chain. In the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make two double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And in the next chain, I'll make two double crochet. Through the next chain, I'll make one double crochet. And through the next chain, I'll make two double crochet. So as you can see, for row 19, I'm increasing on every second chain. Now to finish off row 19, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 19. Now for row 20, I'll chain 3. Then right there through that same chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Right here through this third chain, I'll make two double crochets in the same chain. Through the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. Through the next chain, I'll make two double crochet. Through the next two chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And through the next chain, I'll make two double crochets. So we repeat this throughout row 20. So for this row, as you can see, we are increasing in every third chain. So now to finish off row 20, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row 21, I'll chain three. Then through the same chain, I'll make one double crochet. In the next three chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And then right here through this fourth chain, I will increase. So, so I'll make two double crochets through that chain. In the next three chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain.
and right here through this fourth chain I'll make two double crochets. So we repeat this throughout row 21. We'll increase on every fourth chain. So now to finish off this row, right here through this uh, third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now for row 22, I'll chain three. Then right there through that same chain, I'll make one double crochet. Through the next four chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, and four. And I'll decrease on the fifth chain. Through the next four chains, I'll make one double crochet in each chain. And I'll decrease on this fifth chain. So we repeat this throughout row 22. We are increasing on every fifth chain. Now to finish off row 22, right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So for row 23, I'll chain one, then through the same chain, I'll make two single crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain, I'll make two single crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain, I'll make two single crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one single crochet. And through the next chain, I'll make two single crochet. So we repeat this throughout row 23. We'll make two single crochet in every second chain throughout row 23. Now to finish off this last row, I'll join these two corners together with the yarn needle. Now for the buckle, I'll use crochet hook in size four millimeters, and I'll make a slip knot. And now I'll make sure that my chain is not twisted. Then right there through that last chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Now right there through that same chain, I'll chain one, then I'll make three half double crochet. seven chains I'll make one half double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now through this eighth chain, I'll make three half double crochet. So one, two, and three. And now through the next eleven chains, I'll make one half double crochet in each chain. So one, two, three. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and through this twelfth chain I'll make three half double crochet. Again now through the next seven chains I'll make one half double crochet in each chain. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and through this eighth chain I'll make two half double crochet. And now through the next eleven chains I'll make one half double crochet in each chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven.
Hey, baby. How was your day, sweetheart? Huh? How was your day? It was good. Anything new? Huh? Did anything new happen in school? Mm. Not really. Well, in the history now, we're talking about ancient, ancient China. Oh, that's cool. What did you learn? <coughs> Let me guess. Well, this day we were just doing like the first day we um, finished a new chapter. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first day we get a new chapter. Mm -hmm. Um, because I'm trying because it just ran out. Anyways, the first day that we um, do a chapter, a new chapter, we do like a glance. We do a little glance over it and just like see what we're getting into. Right. And um, it said because and we were just sharing stuff that we already knew, and then we started reading it. Mm -hmm. Well, just like going through it to see what. And what I sure sure shared that I already do is um what's it called? That um because I, I want to be an architect. Yeah. And I was glancing through YouTube and then I saw the video and it said um like Chinese architecture without nails. Ooh. And then and then I said so it was a documentary and I read it and it was saying I said um. And they like put it out in contraptions like laying out in the woods so they don't use any and it stays longer because um nails can't rust and stuff. They can or can't rust? Yeah. Reason you have a um Pokemon thing here? Okay, does anybody else in your you class want to be an architect? I do. Oh, yeah. I'm the only one. Yeah? Who? Chris. Why he didn't want he didn't want to share anything? Because he make us angry. Like he had it was his birthday. It was his birthday today. But I'm going to, and he only and the only and Omar, the only amount of he got ice cream from, he got ice cream for all of us from Baskin Robbins. The only Omar doesn't even didn't even share with me, so I'm not going to get any. Omar. But he couldn't share with you if it was his friend's birthday. Why? Huh. So anyways, um, what's it called? That, um, Chris only bought enough, well, his mom only bought enough for the class, his brother and his mom. Well, the Baskin Robbins already opened? No, the one in, um, the BX. You mean Boston Creams? No, Baskin Robbins. Oh, they, they closed Cinnabon, so now they opened, uh... They did? Yeah. Why would they close Cinnabon? I think you like Baskin Robbins more. Cinnabon. I mean, oh, whatever. Cinnabon, Cinnabon. Whatever. I forgot that thing is. No, I always anyway. called Cinnabon. 
But I don't cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon. But the in class they're always like cinnamon, cinnamon. I'm like it's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. Cinnamon. So what did they have in Baskin Robbins? What did they bring? You said they we got ice cream, and then his mom made ice cream. Or he, his mom put like other like icings and stuff on it and decorated it. So. Yeah, that was nice. Did you guys sing a oh, song? Oh, she made like cones to go on. Like, Did you guys sing a song? Yeah. He's twelve. He's twelve. Yeah. No way. No, he's twelve. He's in sixth grade. Oh, okay. He's in sixth grade. You don't help. You're not supposed to. He has a tricky birthday. I'm just kidding. Reason <laughs> he didn't start school, like I think he started school at like. Uh, like four, I think. Yeah. No, well, of course, he started preschool at that time, but uh, some in some countries, kids go to school, you know, first grade when they are seven years old. I know. You guys got lucky, and you went to first grade when you were six. I never went to first grade. Well, you skipped, but you know. Why? Um. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Anyways, uh, he was born in Italy. Yeah, that's cool. So that there's like a thing there where. 12 and like you're supposed to be like 13 whenever you're in, um, what's it called? So I think you only have like two or one years of high school in Italy because high school? you're older. Because then you'll be 13 in seventh grade, 14 in eighth grade. No, he was born in Italy. You go to school later. So he they got like an extra year, uh, extra, uh, wait, like one year less of school. Anyway, so then you'll be uh, 15 in ninth grade, 16 in 10th uh, grade, and then in 11th grade. So, so you know what, you're going to go to college before you're 18. Huh? You, know, you do know that you're going to be in college before you turn 18. And me? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm going to be like 17. Yeah. Guess is too. Wait, no. Are you gonna be sixteen or seventeen? I'll be seventeen. Chris will be nineteen. Well, that's not very unusual, you know. Yeah, but usually you go when you're eighteen. True. <clears throat> so I'll go one year less. Hey, right, Miss Porter skipped like two or three classes. Right, yeah. and classes. And grades. She's very smart. Yeah, that's she has a PhD. Well, she's getting one. She's really close to. middle of college, but not the middle, and like the first year of college, I'll turn 18. Wait, what is, do they do anything for birthdays in colleges? <laughs> well, I'm sure moms don't come with uh, with donuts and ice creams to college, but... No, I'll just come home. I'll just come home. <laughs> do you want to come home? Mm -hmm. If I'll you want, home. I'll come and bring ice cream and donuts and pizza. You can. To college. Yes, and then we can have... Okay, okay. Uh, I'm not going to edit this part, <laughs> just so I have a record. Okay, that when I show up in your first year of college, and there are all your friends and stuff there, and uh, <laughs> I'm coming with with uh, juice and <laughs> pizza, I will say, and you say, Mommy, why did you come? I will say, you told me I'll years say, ago. Mom, uh, why, are you, why are you here? <laughs> Well, uh, you told me just now. You said, "Can you?" I will not. I will. I will stop calling you, mommy. Whenever <gasps> you, I turn eighteen. You just broke my heart. What are you gonna call me then? Mom. You know, when you were a little younger, you used to call me mama. Mm -hmm. And then I turned into mommy, and then it's gonna be mom. I mean, mom. Mom. <laughs> why do you guys do that? Why do? You, why does? What does it matter? I call you mommy. Whenever, oh no, because when you're little, you're supposed to say mommy, and then you turn, people think that whenever you're in like middle school, or you're, so, you're supposed to call, but you have to be in college. Oh my gosh, I don't mind if you call me always mama, because you're my baby. 
Mama's kind of weird. Why? Mommy's better than Mama. Oh my goodness, you guys think you're too big. No matter how old you are, you still don't need my baby. I think for your birthday, I should bring, uh, I think what they're called, the uh, sugar canes. And I learned how to make them very good. And it kind of takes like 10 days to make them. Sugar canes? You mean well, candy canes? Yeah, for your bread, I'm going to bring some candy canes. and they are, sugar crystals. Yeah, well, they like sugar crystals, they take around like for 7 to 10 days to make. Yeah, you just do it like the week before my birthday. Well, I don't know. We'll have to work together on that. It's a cool hat. I'm going to wear it. Yeah, I know, right? It's so cool. All right, so it's a cool hat. That's a cool hat. I think I see a mouse. I think Mouse just woke up. You see a mouse right there? I see you! Adrian! No, no. Oh, look how your big brother is singing to you, Adrian. Now, if you are very careful, you can, you know, put this hat on your head and still make it stand but you have to be super careful in order for the hat just to stand like a Abraham Lincoln's hat then we need to use some wire and you know work uh, around the wire alright finally I found something that will fit so here's what it is it's made out of plastic though and we have a plate right in here 